How's everybody doing? This is Luke the Duke, and we are once again playing some Space Engineers, my friends. And if you guys can remember, about a week ago we lost to a space kitten in mutual combat in space. And ever since then I have been looking and trying to design my own heavy frigate type destroyer to face off against Meow Captain's overpowered ship. So as you can see, here's the original gravity cannon, which was the inspiration for Thor's cannon. This is just called the Test Launcher, and my buddy Sultan made this. And it is a black, very sleek, very open design. So as you can see, the big gaps in there to give it, give it a lot of room to breathe, I guess. And as you can see, my ship is completely decked in heavy armor. So if you look to the left, that ship is, com is pretty much inside of this ship I've built. As you can see, we have broadside cannons laying waste to anything in their opposite direction and it is on the top the bottom the left and the right so there are going to be options to actually disable um, the certain sides so you aren't shooting all sides at once which uh, could could potentially be um, beneficial but um, in the long run it's just gonna cause some FPS issues so we're gonna disable that and yes, it is a very, very formidable ship, you guys. And this is actually a really nice skybox. So I didn't think the skybox was actually going to work, but it's actually, actually really nice. L let's take a look down onto Earth to see how the skybox looks from a planet's perspective. Oh, we're going inside the planet. Nope, nope. Okay, we're going way too fast. All right, here we are. So as you can see, you can see the giant planet peeking through the skybox a little bit. So it actually is very interesting, guys. It actually almost gives an orange tint to everything. Obviously because um, most of the skybox is predominantly orange. So you can see two planets. So it's a little weird you have two Earths, but it actually looks pretty cool, you guys. So I like skyboxes like this because it actually makes your stips, your, your stips, what? Your ships uh, stand out a lot more just to... Uh, as opposed to the black skybox, which it's sort of hard to um, get a good look at your ship sometimes. So regardless of where the sun is, uh, it pretty much you have a good view of your point of your ship at any point. So here it is, you guys. It's the Thor's Cannon, a ship very heavily inspired by Sultan's design. In fact, Sultan's design is inside of this ship. I've pretty much just built around it just to give it a heavy armor frame protecting the gravity barrel. And basically, I've built this to, spa to, to face off against a space kitty and try to regain my honor. So we're going to test it out in some PvP just to, just to get a little taste of what it might be like. We're going to be facing off against the helicarrier. And I have already sort of fought the helicarrier in somewhat of just a stationary position. And the gravity cannon just tears through it. So I'm really excited to see how this plays out. Bear obviously thinks he's going to win. But, you know, that's, that's just Bear for you. He is a very progressive thinker so we are gonna we're gonna get right into it here we go my friends all right gosh darn it bear you better hide the honey i'm turning on my turrets the time has come oh my, my turrets are already on well jesus we're ready to go bear i don't know where you are but you better be better be ready Look at these turrets. Oh, I forgot to disable all sides, so we're, we're going tough. Oh, meow, Captain, I'm sorry. We, we messed up. We, we overslept. We missed the duel. I'm practicing for you, meow, Captain. I swear to God. We are ready. Okay, man. It's going to be an event. We have it marked down. Meow, Captain, make an appearance in the episode by any way possible. Here it is, Thor's cannon. We are getting ready. I, I don't know if Bear is actually ready or not. Look at this beast. I'll be there, meow. I'll be there right meow. <laughs> bear, let's go. Gosh darn it, Bear. Oh my god, bear! I just took. <laughs> like, half of your flight room is gone! Oh my god, the, the second one's already incoming. I double clicked it, bear. Here she comes! Ooh, a little bit of a miss. Oh my god, not a miss! 
Oh god, I didn't give Bear a chance to even get in the ship, and I think I already disabled it. Oh my god. Bear, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to hit you with one more. This one's going right through your belly. Okay, so apparently we're gonna restart, because uh, I may have hit him with the gravity cannon a little bit too early. He's so far away, there's like no chance for his turrets even to come close. Here we go, red lights on. And then fire. Oh, that's gonna be a good hit. I don't even know where it hit. I saw something flying away. Alright, another one. Bear, you are just respawn a ship. Oh my god! Cut through a good portion of it, damn. All right, you guys. Well, it would it would seem that the Thor's cannon, the gravity cannon, well, gravity cannons in general are just extremely overpowered, you guys, especially if you have the speed mod on. So I remember looking back, like maybe a month ago, a couple weeks ago, we would send like six or seven, like literally like almost dozens of small ships at the helicarrier and it was just unstoppable you guys even against two titans around the same size as the helicarrier the way that thing is built it just it stays afloat and the turrets stay alive for so long that it's just you know nearly unstoppable but the gravity cannon it would seem is pretty much the achilles heel for all titan class ships out there just because it can hit you from so far away 
with probably you know it'll probably go through like six or seven layers of heavy armor with only one slug i've seen it go through eight almost ten before like do damage all the way up to ten armors and just completely go through eight of them so um there's a couple different circumstances that has to sort of come into play when you're using the gravity cannon um it sort of has to sort of depends on what the speed mod is at so let's say if the speed mod is at you know 500 meters per second which i i assume is somewhat the normal somewhat the norm for most servers um you're, you're actually going to be able to avoid it so it's going to be easier to avoid the slug shots when you're when you're at the max speed mod like i was on 10,000 meters per second when you're in a, when you're in a titan class ship that can barely move um you're, you're pretty much not going to have a prayer of getting out of the way of the shots just because they're going so incredibly fast but you could sort of level the playing field a little bit and it would actually almost be a little bit funner to be able to like be swerving in and out of you know gravity cannon shots and stuff so it, it's sort of going to spice stuff up so i assume if i ever did fight meow captain with this i assume that the speed mod wouldn't be set all the way to 10,000 meters per second so that's why i fitted this thing with a bunch of broadside cannons a bunch of turrets on all sides so, you know, I sort of took into accommodation if the gravity cannon were to be taken out of the equation. I still want this thing to be able to hold its own somewhat. So if you get up to someone for a broadside matchup, that's when you could do some serious damage. Or you could go underneath them or you could go to the side of them. You know, it has uh, broadside cannons on, you know, all four sides of the thing. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Sort of a short episode, but we're, we're doing a lot of stuff in survival right now, so... The survival episode is going to take a couple days longer than I originally expected. So we're putting this episode out in the meantime just so you guys can see what we've been up to. I've actually been working on this ship for about a week now. So I wanted to show you guys it. We uploaded it to the workshop, but it, it sort of came out a little bugged. So uh, we, we're going to have to re-upload it because the way we built it, the, we sort of put like catwalk plates, like touching both the merge blocks to the projector system. And we ended up messing it up a little bit so we're going to re-upload it pretty much by the end of this video so the link in the description is probably going to be accurate so once again you guys I'd like to thank you all for watching make sure to support sultan on the steam workshop page because he was pretty much the inspiration the frame of this ship was built by him so any conquest of meow captain that happens is pretty much going to be thanks to sultan i i guess my tripod sort of like fell over you guys so once again i'd like to thank you for watching this is Luke the Duke, and once again, good night and good luck.